The Calgary's first Low Monday, Motivational Monday event. Thank you for coming out here. This is, uh, yeah, give yourselves a round of applause. I was the kind of girl that loved the feel of a dodgeball in my hands. And as I'm getting ready to play, I'm calculating who my next victim was. And so I scan the room in there. My eyes lock, we both lock eyes, my next victim. And they know that they're in a very vulnerable position. He saw his son married. He saw his grandchildren born. Because he had nine years, he was able to continue solo canoeing. He used to canoe every year for two weeks to Algonquin Park in Ontario. He was an avid sailor. He had his own sailboat. He actually rode a 52-kilometer bike marathon in Ontario from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario. It was a long time ago. And you know, going way back then, my parents were pretty typical farmers. They didn't like to travel, and they did not like the big city. One time, they said, you know what? How about the whole family? We're going to go to Banff. Then they realized they had to drive through Calgary to get there. <laughs> that was the end of that. Foster them. That people, when they realize that I have children, the reaction I usually get is, oh my dear God. <laughs> You're a father? And I say, and I always correct them, I say, no, I, I'm a foster father. Which is kind of the same thing, except that foster parents require a license. Because <laughs> Calgary is a big time networking city, and a lot of that is done on the golf course. So uh, out he drags me out to Maple Ridge, McCall Lake, wherever we could get on, so that he wouldn't embarrass himself at these corporate and charity <laughs> tournaments. And so he didn't realize it, but he's created a little monster because all of a sudden that was my passion, and that was my outlet outside of school. And although I was passionate about teaching, I just fell in love with golf, and I started reading and, 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 and watching on TV and get, getting really excited. Well, they came up with the idea to hire the smartest person in the village, which were the teachers, yay teachers, to teach the children. And that became our model of education for the past 150 years. The problem was, it's an assembly line type of education. You have put the kids on one end when yes. they're five years old, and they yes. go along to standardization. They learn conformity. They learn obedience. And hopefully you pluck them off at the other end <laughs> so that they can go to work in the factories. And so this past year, I actually won Miss Teen Calgary. And I got the chance to um, go to Toronto. And I got to sing at Much Music Live and sing on stage with Carl Wolf and a bunch of other people. And it just kind of gave me this thing. And, and um, now I'm putting out covers. I have some new amazing things happening in my life. And it's kind of given me this thing of knowing I want to travel for a purpose. If you, if you enjoyed yourself this evening, please tell your friends. If there's, if you didn't enjoy your yourself, so, you know, too bad we've got your money anyways. But anyway, thank you for being here, everybody. Good night. Drive carefully. Oh,